feel good. So I'm in my dressing gown. I'm gonna do a video on how eating disorders were represented in Disney Channel. The first show I'm gonna talk about that made a problematic comment on eating disorders is Shake It Up with Zendaya and Bella Thorne. They seem to be great on like dyslexia representation, but clearly not eating disorders. It was season one, episode seven. You remind me of myself when I was your age. How old are you? 13? Uh, 14. Uh, 15. 16! <laughs> You're adorable. I could just eat you guys up. You know, if I ate. <laughs> That was in like 2011, around 2011, and Demi Lovato went off on Disney Channel on Twitter, slamming Disney by saying things like, I find it really funny how a company can lose one of their actresses to the pressures of an eating disorder, and yet still make jokes about that very disease. On a Sunny with a Chance spin-off show, So Random, the one Demi Lovato wasn't in because she was in treatment for her eating disorder, it's really fucked up. In season one, episode nine, they made an eating disorder joke, which, is not very classy of them. The episode mentioned how the character only ate one full meal a week because his agent's always on him about looking his best and how if he eats too many carbs he won't get the jobs. And I watched a bit of this episode, I was skimming along and I couldn't find the joke. One of the ones that's I think most people comes to mind when they think of Disney Channel and eating disorders is the Zack and Cody episode where Maddie and London get eating disorders as if it's something you can just get. I think it's more of a commentary on disordered eating rather than eating disorders and like extreme diets rather than actual eating disorders. I have problems with it. It's got like 6.4 million views on YouTube, the clip. So I'll play you the clip. Remember what we said before you came here? We can only criticize people that we pay. Fine. Your butt is huge. And you have chicken legs. <gasps> That's the best 50 bucks I ever spent. You don't think I'm too skinny, do you? No. I'm like, butt's not too big, is it? Absolutely not. <laughs> I think I'm gonna go for a little 10 mile jog. <laughs> I think I'm going to get a double, double cheeseburger with fries. <laughs> and a shake. Line, it's awfully late. What are you still doing here? My fashion shows tomorrow, so I'm staying with London. Uh, I'm making sure she doesn't eat, and she's making sure I do. Why? Well, I need to fill out my dress more, and she needs to fill out her dress less. Uh, That's right. Less talking, more chewing. Girls, this is ridiculous. Now, if you want one man's opinion, I think you are both two very beautiful young women. You really think so? Absolutely. And you don't need to change the way that you look. Thanks, Mosby. You're the best. Good night. Good night. Good night. <laughs> He's gone! <laughs> you sure you don't think I'm too skinny? Positive. You're perfect. And you don't think I'm too not skinny? Heck no. We'll go get the car. <laughs> what were we thinking? We starving and stuffing ourselves. I know. It was so unhealthy. And we didn't even need to do it. We should just be happy with the way we look. Well, I should. <sighs> My point is, next time one of your snarky friends makes a comment, let's remind each other that we're perfect the way we are. Okay? Deal. Hmm. I guess Mosby is right after all. He always is. Disney eating disorder, also Disney laugh track. <laughs> Telling someone they're beautiful isn't going to cure them from an eating disorder. It's a mental illness. It could have been so much better, like, if they didn't need the validation from boys to recognise that they were always beautiful. Um, it's not about that, and it's never been about that. That's a big misconception that, like, people have anorexia, like, for men. And a lot of men think that it's really fucked up. Um, Disney are obviously not mental health advocates. It's not revolutionary, I don't think, what they were showing. One thing I did like though is that um, they showed like binge eating disorder as well as like restrictive eating disorders. Also, couldn't they have just swapped dresses? The next one I'm going to go on to is Lizzie McGuire. Something about it's a tiny bit better than this, but I don't know, it's still fucked. It's seasons two episode of Inner Beauty. I never watched this one, I was too young to remember it, but I used to love 
I love the outfits. Shout out to pushing up the roses for the commentary. Sing dance moves in preparation for being in a music video directed by Gordo. After practice is over, Lizzie and Miranda start chowing down on a ton of junk food, which prompts Gordo to say, Man, you guys eat a lot. The next day at school, Miranda tells Lizzie that she's upset that she only got a B on one of her exams and starts to worry about her grades and at her appearance despite looking exactly the same as her non-photographed self. How come no one's ever told me I have, like, six chins? Exerting too much energy from dancing and nearly passes out. Her mom shows some concern and Miranda lies about having lunch. Gordo then goes on a very long, rambly rant about the pressures of being a young girl in a beauty-conscious society. Lizzie's alter ego states that Miranda must not be seeing herself in the mirror correctly. She then decides to voice her concerns about Miranda's diet, saying it doesn't make any sense and that it's scaring her. Miranda doesn't take this well and becomes angry, denying that there's an issue and saying that it's none of Lizzie's business. Miranda shows up for filming, Gordo apologizes for his comment about her eating too much, and Lizzie once again voices concern. Miranda opens up, admitting that her life feels out of control. She feels like her grades are suffering and that her parents are putting extra pressure on her, so she chose to take control of her eating as a way to deal. But holy shit, we can't let this get too serious, so back to Matt. Just like that. Hey presto, she's cured, like, overnight. Body image issues don't just go overnight. Uh, they're no easy fix. Um, Lizzie McGuire had a real opportunity to do something powerful. I miss the old Disney, and it all went downhill since then, I think. Uh, Disney's problematic as fuck, but that shit's my childhood, so... Thank you for watching.